In this part of the training in VR series, we're going to learn the basics of navigation in virtual reality. Similar to the desktop mode, the VR mode also has different ways of navigating the scene, with each one offering an alternative approach to exploring a VR experience. First thing we need to do before beginning to view the scene in VR is to set up the starting position in SimLab Composer. Make sure you're in the VR workbench and from the VR viewer menu, select set start position. A human model will be loaded into the scene. Click anywhere to snap the starting position or use the transformation tool to position it. You can always select the starting position from the object's tree and move it to wherever place you want. Now that we're done with setting up the starting position, go to the VR viewer menu and select show in viewer. In this dialog, we get to choose whether to run the experience in desktop mode or in VR mode if we have a VR headset, such as an HTC Vive or an Oculus Rift. You also have the option to protect the file, which will not allow the user to save the scene from the VR viewer. Optimizing this scene speeds up the experience by merging in active 3D objects, and it does not take a lot of time to perform. Therefore, I suggest you always keep this option checked. Depending on the VR device that you're using, you might have the ability to walk around in the room while wearing the headset, and that would move you around in the VR scene, which is the case when using an HTC Vive or an Oculus Rift, for example. Other devices might require you to stay still, like the Oculus Go. Therefore, we need a way to move around in the scene. Teleportation is useful for all kinds of devices and is not exclusive for stationary devices because even the space that you are physically in might not be sufficient to explore all the areas in the VR scene. Using the stick on the right controller, press and aim to the ground, then release to teleport. To look around you, simply move your head around. While holding down the stick, you can move it around to change the view you'll be facing once you teleport. If you were to move the stick sideways without pressing it, the view would rotate in that direction. So instead of rotating your head and turning around physically to extreme degrees, simply rotate the stick. If the teleportation beam appears in green color, it means that the ground you intend to teleport to is accessible. A red color on the other hand means that the target area is inaccessible. Going back to SimLab Composer, while in the VR Workbench, select the environment from the object menu. In the VR tab, scroll down to the navigation mode section. Here you can select there, you can select the starting navigation mode for desktop viewing and you can also enable flying in VR viewing. Enable VR flying and run the experience in VR mode. Now that you have enabled the flying option in VR, using the left controller, push the stick forwards to fly. The harder you push the stick, the faster you fly. To control the direction of flying, rotate the controller towards the direction you intend to fly in. To exit the flying mode, use the right controller to teleport to the ground. Flying in VR can be essential when exploring large scenes or scenes with inaccessible areas. Go back to SimLab Composer and let's explore the third way of navigating VR scenes. From the 360 image menu, select Create VR Camera.
place it in any position you want and be considerate to the direction of the camera since it can be used as a direction you will be facing when teleporting to that point. You can create as many cameras as you need to cover the whole scene. Using Ctrl and C on the keyboard creates a replica of the camera, so you wouldn't have to go back to the 360 image menu every time you want to create a camera. Run the VR experience. To use the VR cameras as teleportation points in VR, press the menu button on the controller. From the VR menu, select the VR camera icon using the trigger button on the controller to activate the large scene navigation mode. This x-ray looking view allows you to see teleportation points even if they were hidden behind walls. Use the trigger button to aim to a point and a window will appear displaying the view of that teleportation button. Release the trigger to teleport to that point. Keep in mind that you can move the menu to the side by dragging the top portion of the menu with the trigger button. Navigating the VR experience in SimLab VR Viewer is very simple yet immensely empowering. It comes in different modes allowing you to explore any type of scenes no matter what size or complexity of it is without any considerable effort.